Well, it's a long holiday weekend, and that means it's going to be busy up in the mountains. People trying to head up to the ski areas early today got stuck in a highway closure in Idaho Springs. Look at that. CDOT shut down both directions for avalanche mitigation. It's back open now, but that's not the only area dealing with heavy snow and mitigation closures. With new snow overnight, we're tracking the driving conditions up to the high country. Denver 7's Eric Lufer is in our first alert traffic center. So, Eric, talk us through some of the issues. Well, it, you know, it's looking better, but for 11 o'clock in the morning, it should be much better than it really is. And you can see from the map here, the drive times, we're still talking between an hour and an hour and a half just from Morrison to the Eisenhower Tunnel. The slowdown start at your typical area is heading westbound just past Idaho Springs. Gets a little bit worse, well, a lot worse. It's even changed to red now past the Empire exit through Georgetown. We've got a camera up there. You can see it's just not looking good on that westbound side. The sun is out. But we'll go back to the map and uh, we start seeing some snow the further west we go into uh, past Silverthorne and then into Vale where the map looks OK. But you can see from the camera up there, we are still seeing the snow falling a little bit there. Fortunately, we're starting to see some lane recognition now. It was snowing a lot heavier earlier this morning, so traffic is actually running smoothly there. But look at this video. This is from earlier. Daryl Orr was up there when he was live this morning for us. Uh, bad visibility. Uh, this semi truck was getting towed away, so these are the conditions we're dealing with President's Day weekend, by the way, pretty busy for I-70. Not the busiest weekend when it comes to holidays, but uh, la uh, two years ago when they, they don't have 2018 numbers yet, but uh, two years ago they had 177,000 cars driving along the I-70 corridor, so the numbers will only go up this year and when the numbers come in from last year. And this is why everyone wants to get up and go enjoy the fresh snow. Chet Stream there, Loveland Pass. So you'll get up there. It's getting a little bit better, but pretty darn slow thanks to those uh, uh, ripple effects, especially with the avalanche mitigation that shut down the highway a few times this morning. All right. Thanks, Eric. Well, once you get up there, then it's going to be great. You're going to have a lot of uh, new snow, huh? Yes, <laughs> lots of great new snow, which we have lots of snow to ski on, but then that's avalanche danger yeah. at the same time. Uh, like Eric was saying, we do have improving conditions here across uh, the northern and central mountains. We had a lot of watches and warnings in effect through last night. Now those have been lifted and we have a winter weather advisory that starts at midnight tonight and lasts through tomorrow here for the mountains. Now, down into southwestern Colorado, it's an avalanche warning through tomorrow morning. So we still have a lot of snow that's been coming down. You wouldn't know it by looking outside here across the Front Range. Beautiful blue skies. Temperatures are still on the cool side, but we have high winds off to our west into the high country, and the winds have really died down here across the metro area. Our temperatures are in the 30s and 40s here uh, for the Front Range. We have 45 downtown, 39 in Dakota, 37 in Longmont, and then 50s farther to the south around Highlands Ranch, Castle Rock, and Parker. Our overnight lows will be in the 20s tonight. We'll have teens and 20s for the mountains with that snow coming in through tonight and tomorrow. And for the overnight here in Denver, we'll have mostly clear skies with lows around 25 degrees. Now we'll talk about chances for snow here in Denver on the extended forecast in just a few minutes.